Take 15. Okay, hi, we are back in Clandestine, the co-op espionage game, where I will be playing the man behind the chair, and I'm here with... My Vermentry, and I shall be playing the beautiful and uh, deadly... Uh... God, what's her name again? Uh, Spy Chick. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. No. Yes, yeah. that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is our genuine first time heading into Mission 4. Into Poland. Gonna be exciting. Um, no idea what's gonna happen, but let's go. Alright then, for next mission, is in... Poland. At the Vatkov residence, and uh, using the records from Catalyst, analysis has identified the person controlling the money flow is a mysterious British financier by the name of Richard Baxter. Baxter has proven to be an extremely hard target to the point where he must be using tradecraft to cover his tracks. Baxter could well be the source of our leaks. Though Major Sibulka's network, we have learned that uh, Baxter will attend a social event in Warsaw. The objective is to identify Baxter, isolate him, and interrogate him. Your cover will let you access the main floor. Blitz time limit, 8 minutes. And I'm just remembering now that I uh, read through this briefing at the end of the last video. That's okay. My bad. It's okay. It's a good little reminder for what people are about to watch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you've probably not done this in a while as well. Uh, I don't remember what we were doing. I don't even remember where we were going. <laughs> I that, totally uh... remembered it was... Poland. Where are we going to? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And I think I've said this before, I'll say it again. That dress does nothing for you, Hen. Oh, is it the, the British chick? <laughs> no, it's, uh... It's, uh... What do you call her name? I keep forgetting her name. Main Girl character. with a dragon tattoo has, like, a little, uh... Cocktail dress for the party, and it's mm. just not flattering. Oh, I guess we'll just, find out. Nah. Oh, I, I can take other guns now. But they're all basically pistols, which I will not need because we're doing a pro stealth run, right? Yeah, we go completely undetected. Yeah. Pure stealth run. No one will ever see you coming. Oh, cool. We're from Lethal Rounds. Neat. And, uh, don't want to know where she's hiding it in that dress. I guess we'll find out once the cameras go live. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> Let's take the remote mode M just in case. Alright, you ready? Yep, ready whenever you are. Alright, uh, brace yourself. This is five days later, totally. The information you uncovered in London has led us to Richard Baxter, a somewhat mysterious and particularly well connected banker. It's okay, I've already told He's them that part. employed by Catalyst, but apparently he's never set foot in their building. And his name appears almost nowhere in their files. When he does appear, it's usually in private correspondence. And these missives make it pretty clear that he is, in fact, the man controlling the whole money laundering outfit. So he is the source of the leaks. <laughs> he is getting agents killed when they get too close to his operation? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> find him and ask him. Unfortunately, he's a very difficult man to find. In fact, one rather gets the impression that he has extensive experience with tradecraft. He's a spy? Based on the way he no, covers he deals his with tracks, coffee. almost certainly. <laughs> Fortunately, Mr. Zabulka is better at finding people. Hey, I got a pronunciation, right? Is it not being found? Ha! Huh. You found him. Oi! He turned up in Poland. I thought she broke her neck there. A lot of people who owe me a favor. Indeed. Mr. Sibulka's connections alerted us that Baxter is attending a party in Warsaw, thrown by a Bulgarian drug lord named Veselin Vadkov. The party's on the 7th, and that may be the only window we'll have for quite some time. Who else is on the guest list? 31 people, mainly Poles and Russians, with a few Germans and Brits bringing the international touch, most with connections to organized crime. We've managed to get an invitation by leaning on a low-ranking member of Vadkov's network. Mansour still has an old CIA identity by the name of Nasir Patel, who we've revived for this operation. Is that safe? Nasir is clean. 
He had nothing to do with the thing in Mexico. Mr. Patel is a Pakistani black market financier looking to establish a connection into Europe. He'll be accompanied by a Russian call girl named Yulia Seletsnyova. My cover is a prostitute. The guest list doesn't leave as much room to be creative. Every woman there has been hired for the occasion. It's that kind of party. I understand this may feel denigrated. It's fine. Whatever gets us inside with the fewest questions asked. Good. Kozlova, you're on point for this one. While Mr. Mansour will I provide guess the that explains the dress. Mansour's call sign is Lancet. The objective is to identify Richard Baxter, isolate him, and interrogate him. Our information enough. indicates that Mr. Baxter will stay the night. So you'll be arriving well after dinner, when many of the guests have left. This narrows down the possibilities. I assume resistance will be pretty low? That cough is an organized crime. And these people don't tend to skimp on security. Worse, if you get caught, they're not simply going to arrest you. Yes, I got a good preview in Mexico of what happens. But I can't show up for the party wearing Kevlar and thigh holster. We've procured a very pretty dress for the occasion. It's Which really is? not. Come on, Dad, it'll be just like in the movie. Do we have any idea how this man looks? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Mr. Baxter is a very enigmatic person. Really? We have nothing on him. Someone at the party must know who he is, considering he appears on the guest list as Richard Baxter. Who knows? Maybe he'll simply introduce himself. Who'll be canvassing the guests then? Me or Katya? You'll both have to work the room. All right, let's go to Poland. Your plane leaves tonight. Good luck to all of you. That was an abrupt cut. <laughs> <coughs> Let me guess. They really want us to go to Poland. Yeah. I'll probably become the one train anyway. Yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, some of the jumpy animations there just made that more authentic. Yeah. <laughs> you may not feel it. But you look fantastic in that dress. Sarah has good taste in fashion, I admit. But these heels are killing me. Are they daft? Maybe if you tried not walking like you're wearing combat boots. It's not exactly fair that if you want to dress fancy as hell, you can still run without breaking your ankles. All right, guys, get your game faces on. Okay, I got camera access from you, I think. Yep. Map wise, all of this looks safe, so I'm going to use this opportunity to walk. Okay. While you're on this floor, I'm going to start hacking the network. You might as sure. Well. I don't see an administrator anywhere, so why not? Just looks a little better than it did in the preview, but still kind of. I, I I know that like I'm going on about this, but uh, I mean really. It swells, sways well with their hips. <laughs> Alright, first off, hacking Henry K. Gladstone's computer. Here we go. That cop has a passphrase for people who invite upstairs. The challenge is the northern wind is brisk this time of year. Respond, but winter's bite is colder still. Okay, that was interesting. What's wrong? I know that woman, and she knows me. That's impossible. We background checked everyone. Well, we fucked it up. That's Ksenia Rashkova. She's former Black Sickle. Are you sure? That'd be a hell of a coincidence. I have no idea what she's doing here, but she can blow my cover. You'd better not let her ID you, then. I'll try to stay out of her way. Keep an eye on her. Let me know what she's up to. Ah, oh, sugar. Yeah, do not blow your cover and canvas the party to identify this person. That's an interesting set of objectives. Okay, and you have to keep an eye out for her. How am I supposed to... Do that. Who is she? I think she was one that was in the background. There's one person. Oh, during that got three. Oh, number one. So I think she's where I've targeted number two, possibly. Hmm. Maybe. I can't really keep an eye out for her at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to get exciting. Is she one? Uh, two. I think number one is your partner, technically. I'm not sure it's two, because two for me. Alright, well number two is highlighted in blue, so, and it's walking around randomly. 
So my guess is that number one is the person you're trying to avoid. I've kept them flagged anyway, just so you can keep an eye on them. I expect extra people to show up at 16 and I'll meet them in study at 5.30 to hear what the plans for this evening. Okay, the first guest will arrive around 6 as explained, but most will leave soon after dinner. Certain privileged guests will arrive later in the night, but there are to be no deviations from the list this time. For upstairs passage, we gave you the password to get upstairs. So you've got that, but Winter's Bite is colder still. Yeah. Uh, basement code has been updated. Uh, we'll make sure that Mr. Vatkov's daughter gets the new code in a timely manner. Okay, so sounds like the daughter has a password, so let me see if I can hack. Take my pirog and I will take your balls. <laughs> uh, Little post it note there. Uh, no one is not the one of to avoid. Wow, okay. Is that your teammate then? Yeah. I'll unflag him. Like I said it's the only one that shows up differently. Hmm. Maybe on a different floor. I wonder. Can't remember how to. Basement's definitely got people walking around, so does the upper floor. So if you change floor, it's not safe. Right. But I don't know where that woman is. Oh, that shit, 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 shit. She's right there. The one that I... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea which one she was. Like, from the map, they all yeah. just look like little white uh, arrows. Well, okay, so this is our first time loading into this mission. <laughs> right, a couple of computers I can hack here for potential basement access codes. Sure. I'm going to take a little look around outside. Okay. So Felicia Katkova has lots of facts about cats on her emails. Thank you for subscribing to Cat Facts. Starting now, you will receive fun facts about cats each day. Did you know that cat urine glows in the dark if you shine UV light on it? <laughs> you have three month subscription to Cat Facts and will receive fun daily updates. The print of a cat's nose is unique to each individual, just like the fingerprints of a human. <laughs> she tried to cancel and <laughs> send <laughs> <even> more spam. <laughs> cancel. What is your favorite animal? Dog. Incorrect. Your favorite animal is the cat. You will continue to receive Cat Facts each day. <laughs> the largest breed of domesticated cat is called the Maine Coon. Maine Coons can weigh up to 11 kilos. <laughs> Okay. Oops. That was unfortunate. Camera there, but it should be safe. Anywhere on this floor, you are completely safe. It's only if you go upstairs yeah. or to the basement. Um, sure. But I'll... possibly if the path freezed, uh, upstairs will become safer. Mm, I think that just lets you get upstairs. The whole area is marked as not being a safe zone, according to my maps. I've just noticed her, uh, black fickle... Her black fickle tattoo has not been covered up. That... that... <gasps> That seems that. like an error. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Kind of interesting she never had it removed either. Oh, I have uh, access to the central heating system. I can't come up these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so your dress is just too restrictive. <laughs> Uh, information of uh, concerns are well founded. They're running a high priority investigation targeting Vatkov and his entire operation. I'd recommend that you minimize your time on site with Vatkov from now on. This is There's an option chemist. to force the side doors lock, but I think that just goes into the kitchen, which I saw during uh, our previous uh, shenanigans that we never did. <laughs> yeah, that never happened. Uh, okay, I've got some information for you here. Uh, this was an email what to the chemist. Is this for a black tie party? Mm -hmm. um, despite the protest, we must keep records of distribution network. It is impossible to manage our business. We cannot easily access important information about our partners. However, your objections are reasonable. To allay your concerns, my people have installed a safe in the lab. The code is 1571. So we have a code <laughs> to a safe box. In the lab. Yep. And there is a sub-network somewhere which uh, I don't have access to. So, uh, if I come across, I have right to bring the remote more, damn at least. Yep. And like I said, I've got access to central heating. I don't know if I, that explodes or what. So, 
I'm going to go and hide away, and we'll see if we we'll keep an eye on what's going on with you. I will attempt to quietly force this lock. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> Never mind. There's a staircase if you continue through there on the right. I don't know if that does anything. I cannot go for a swim. Aww. <laughs> Isn't that what's done at parties like this? Hello. That's a nice bow tie. I mean, <laughs> n nicely sort of shaped uh, facial hair as well. Yeah, he's, he's obviously well groomed. Ah, uh, classy, the alcohol, alcohol in the globe thing. This is a high class parte. I guess I'm more one to hug back to the classical cocktails. Classical cocktails? Oh, yes. Nothing wets your palate like a good Sazerac. I don't think I've had one of them. There's a New Orleans variation on a cognac cocktail named the Eponymous Spirit. Maybe the bartender can mix a couple. Oh. I know I'm gonna run into that woman if I keep exploring. Do you remember which room she was in? I think maybe just not go in that room. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Was she moving around or was she static? I think she was in that room, like the one in front of me. Yeah, it's like that's the big room. It's got objective one pointed in there. Crud. <laughs> but there is one person moving around. I'm going to actually check one of the cameras. I think. No, that, that is the waiters, the only one moving around at this point. Do you have camera coverage in the room where we think she might be? I do, yeah. Okay. I'd say hop in that. I'll spark off uh, that little scene look. And then you should be able to maybe quickly identify her before she leaves. I think she might be the redhead. Uh, my camera is in black and white, so that does not help uh, at all. Unfortunately, I can't tag her either. Hey, Alright, let's do it. Let's see if we can work out what's going on. I'm watching the door with you coming in. Okay. God forbid you. I know that woman, right. and she knows me. That's impossible. We background checked everyone. Well, we fucked it up. Yep, for redhead. Koshkova, she's former Black Sikon. Are you sure? That'd be a hell of a coincidence. I have no idea what she's doing here, but she can blow my cover. You'd better not let her ID you, then. I'll try to stay out of her way. Keep an eye on her. Oh, let she's... me know what she's up to. Moving now, right? Okay, she's in that room ahead. There, she's tied yeah. to number one. Awesome. I should see which one she is now. So she's dillying down. Right, she's moved into the uh, northern room. Okay, I'll keep an eye on her now then. Yeah. I wonder if I should try and take her out. I don't think there's any way you can take her out here unless she goes to the room near where you picked the lock. There's people in every other room from there. So, you're trying to find out who Richard Baxter is. Yeah. Alright, she's moved down to the main room now. She's moving. I'm in the cutscene. Lancet, whisper as I deed the target. I'll be right there. Nice. It's a shame because she actually went into a cupboard. <laughs> Aww. Right, careful, she's going to come your way, so don't go through that door. I would turn around and follow your ally. Mr. Vatko, here you are. Are you late for the game? Why well, don't leave with me, will you? Of course, sorry. A little too long in the States. Pick up a certain disregard for protocol. I'm Nazir Patel. Oh, yes, Mr. Patel. The Volga game, right? At your convenience, of course. I don't want to interrupt anything important. No, I was just moving the time a bit. If you'll excuse me, my friends, I need to take a quick break. Well, no, absolutely not. It's the first thing you'll have to fulfill. Ah, I know the feeling, Mr. Vatko. Good luck. OK, 
case that's the winter garden she is currently in the kitchen so if you keep going that way the, or he's going into the room where she is do not follow them sure Top three. Sounds like you got shot down. The honey trap angle won't work. We need to find a way to lean on this guy. Listen, make another round at the party. See if someone can offer you an in with Baxter. I'll take a look around the network. Maybe I can get you something to use against him. Uh, search for a pressure point to use against Baxter. Okay, she's gone back into that cupboard on the opposite side of the room. I don't even know what's in there. Uh, I'm going to free if I can get her. Good luck. <laughs> a guard saying, uh, did they never she's change coming, She's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've done a bad. It's okay. It's okay, she's not looking <laughs> your way. She's not looking your way. She's probably going to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but she does seem to, like, go into the kitchen, hang around there forever. And then comes into the bathroom here. Yeah, to look at herself in the mirror. All right. Okay. Uh. Well. Well. You look for a pressure point. I'll just uh hang out. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> do I have access to anywhere on this network that would be good for him? Because I mean, we went through everything. Um. Uh. uh maybe that's why I need to get you in like an alternate network for. Maybe. Ooh. Like, what's this? What's the name of the person we're going looking for? Uh, Baxter. Does he have a cover name? Uh, not one that we know, I don't think. Okay. Um, right, the one computer I've got here is something about shipments, but I don't think that's going to be anything. We're unloading the first shipment now. We'll drive the trucks west out of Arstotska tonight. Uh, Shearwater. Uh, and this thing with your daughter, which you're playing at Vatkov. From the diner manager, it's just your own operations on the line. That's uh, not him. Port shipping supervisor has a, had a regrettable accident yesterday. Fortunately, his successor is more favorably inclined towards our activities. We will continue to curry favor of government as per your direction. Uh, I've got access to printers, but that doesn't do anything. Uh... All right, we're go. Oh, no, she's gone to a different room. How dare she? How very dare she? She's gone to go and talk to people and be social. If, That's dangerous no, if she's looking straight towards you. Sure. Uh, I take it there are other people in that room, yeah? Yes, there's quite a few people in there. Uh, Editating. And that's the, the room you need to kind of go to. <sighs> Darn it. Sorry, while I'm hacking the computer, I can't see the map. So. Uh, no worries, no worries. I think I've read all the computers I've got access to at this point. Can we should take lethal ammo now? <laughs> Just to put her down. I mean, I wonder if like the really sort of pacifist lady would give a crap if I killed them here, because uh, <laughs> I mean, if a, a, gr a collection of criminals here. Yeah, we kill them all. Just put them out of the, you know, the limelight. Do you want me to, I could try and turn off the central heating. I don't know what that would do. Hmm. Try it. Maybe we're for f yeah, oh no, sure. that cracks pipes. Uh, so ah. I can crack to unlock steam pipes on the tactical map. So I can do it. It just means I can Looks now. Like she's heading back now. Pipes. Yeah, she's gone back to the top room, which is uh, where you were totally not spotted the first time we did okay. this. <laughs> yeah, I've looked at every computer. There's been nothing specifically that stood sure. out. But if you talk to him and it comes up with stuff, oh. I might have read things. Be cut free. Not something a little girl like me would understand. Is that experience is not human? And that you put her as a gift with her new life in your own life. Why? Don't tell my face is too fine. I was certainly not gonna help her. Please pardon my lack of manners. This is Lady Kristen Hunt. Very nice to meet you. You again. Likewise. And what is your name, Stella? Maybe something I can learn from my past. 
You must think you're some sort of con artist. Better than prostitute. I'll do what he asks. Hopefully he'll come through for us. First of cracking me up, like the way he was vibrating during that cutscene made him just look extra creepy. Uh, <laughs> be careful, I, I can't say that. Number one just teleported into the central room. Sure. Like she just literally jumped across like two rooms is coming towards. I think she's going to the bathroom now. Ooh, ooh, she, yep, ooh, she's ooh, gone ooh. in the bathroom. She's going to go and look at herself in oh, the mirror. I, you can't sprint in high heels. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Cover. Indeed. Yeah, no one goes in that room. And apparently there's been this waiter moonwalking around the entire floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just while you were in that cutscene, I've been watching him, and his arrow is pointing the opposite direction to where he's moving. Right, she's dead now. I I, I wonder. Nice. Like, right, I do feel. Down I feel. Oh uh, yeah, I was heading downstairs because right. we mentioned the keep the basement. Yeah, you're not safe here. Right. Okay. So, um, I've got the first guy there. It's flagged. I don't even know what that is. There's something in the room. Right? Careful, he's coming straight your way. He's coming up on oh. the right hand side. Oh, he's turned around. He's turned around. He's going back the other way. There are two people in a long corridor on the right. That looks to be your only exit yeah. from here. Well, I can go straight ahead. It looks like. Oh, I should have a look at what your viewpoint is. Because there's a, I think there's like a hydrant thing there that can be watched. Is that a locked door that you can pick? All right, I've grabbed the camera in the next room. Yeah, this looks like a good route actually. There's nothing in this room. There's another locked door at the end that you can probably. There's a keypad in front of me. Oh, nuts. The only code I found was what was for um, a lockbox. Have not found you... any other mentions to the basement. basement code. It said, they said the daughter must be told it. So hang on, let me go and check see if I can find sure. the daughter's computer again. Because she's the one that had cat stuff, I think. Felicia Katkoff. <laughs> but there's no mention on there. The only email she's got are about cats. Um, if okay. we go to Vaseline's, it's about shipments. There's no code on there at all. The other computers I've got were the security it ones. It says it's my objective to find the codes for the basement. So yeah, uh... It's not on any of these okay. at all. I'm going to open this door then. Uh, hang on, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, right, yeah, so be careful in this room. I've got the camera. Yeah. I just don't know how far down the corridor he's going to go before he turns. That, yeah. And where he is at the moment, that's where the second guard is. Sure. I, I got to say, I'm digging the atmosphere in this mission. Yeah. Even if I still think her dress is not great. <laughs> I like the strap, to be honest. I thought that was a really nice design, the way it hangs over one shoulder. So yeah, waist yeah. up is a good design. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the actual skirt and the hem is, uh... What's happening to our channels? <laughs> <laughs> with, with fashion discussion, you know, branching out. Uh, high audience. Right, so it looks like he patrols the entire length of the corridor. Yeah. So, when so he I'll gets... take him out when he turns. Yep. The what do you think? Kill or uh, knockout? Knockout is where I would go. But the problem Fair is, enough. the other guy is permanently watching. I don't know how you're going to get past him. Oh, there's walls in the way. Okay. Alright, go, go, go. I feel kind of bad about killing the other woman now. Actually, yeah, there's not. The way he's stood is a complete open section. And he's just looking. Yeah. Maybe I'll find a code somewhere around here, though. Yeah, he's looking sh like he's on full guard duty. He's not turning around. There's nowhere yeah. to hide from. Yeah, see him there. And unfortunately, I don't have the uh, pager. I could shoot him. <laughs> you could. I've got control over the alarms. Um... Okay. Okay. There is, oh, however, okay. there's an alternative. Give me one second. Sure. There's another staircase. Okay. So if you could, we could potentially go back to the ground floor and try and enter through the kitchen. Okay. Now there's apparently a lockable door on the outside. Oh, 
Oh wait, I don't need to fear going through the main way now. No, nope, you, you should be okay. But if you go outside again and turn left, there's actually your partner is still talking to whoever he's talking to out there. I don't know if that's going to trigger anything. So you can see that that's them ahead. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, but yeah, if you turn left past there. Uh, yeah. There should be a door there. The, the problem is, is there anyone on the other side of it that might be able to hear me? Uh, there is. A, currently, the waiter is walking around in there, so I'll give you a... I'll give you a shout when he's gone. Uh, sure. He's got number two above his head. I don't know if that shows up. Sure. And there is a guy that's just stood in the corner, but he's... You know what? I'm probably better just going the long way. Oh, no. No, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. So this waiter, the number two, he patrols. So... Okay. Is he uh, out the room now? No. Hang on. Although he's blocked off by a... I'm just going to go the long way. Well, you say long way, but I mean, you're going to have to go past the guard, definitely going the other way. Yeah, but... This way like, you there... potentially will avoid him completely. No, no, I'm saying I'll go to the, the long way around to the staircase in the kitchen. Oh, I get it, I get it. I yeah. Get it. As he actually just entered through the door and walked... I mean, the whole area is supposed to be safe, so... Yeah. It's just, uh, I imagine there's a difference between safe and uh, them hearing me, you know, <laughs> crack the door. Yeah. Okay. okay I'm so in the danger zone yet? Yep, yeah, you're in the danger zone now. There's a computer terminal down right in right Oh, nice. Do you have access to it? Uh, yep, yeah, that's the one I've read. That was, uh... Okay. That's the security console, which gave us the code for the... Give me something. Oh, I gave you the password to get into the top floor. Okay. Um, do you want me to see if uh, adding the modem does anything for you? Try it. That do anything? Um, what do I do with it? Doesn't look like it. Okay. No, I'll take it back. No, it doesn't. That door's locked. This door is not. So yeah, the computer that I need to get the pressure point is the one that you're trying to get to and hack. Okay. Uh, have you got that camera? Uh, I do now. Grand. And I said, granted, there's not much that's going to be in this room, because if you went further than there, you've got the same security guard. Yeah. But actually, I think I need to shoot him. The room with the, other, with the computer has a locked door on it, apparently. Where? where? Uh, just behind, the com next to the computer. So when you just came yeah. down the stairs, there should have been a locked door right next to it, apparently. Oh uh, yeah, there is, but for a keypad locked. Ugh, another one with a keypad, jeez. Yeah. Probably the same code as the other one. I think I need to shoot this guy, there's nothing for it. Fair enough. If, if I'd taken the pager, I could maybe distract him, but only had uh, enough room in the stress for one gadget. Alright, he does turn occasionally, but... Not very far, like only at an angle, he'd probably, he'd probably still see you. Okay, things should just go for it then. We might as well try it. But there's again, the next door is locked as well. So again, that's got a key code on it, then we're stuck. Fun of a... <laughs> All of that tension. Yep, I can't, haven't got access to that part of the network. Um... Rats. What's this? Oh, that'd be an alarm. Okay. That one. God damn it. Right. Just double check these. Clearly a torture room. Charming. Yeah, there's no nodes to even jump to, so... Yeah. Well, we're not doing a zero uh, footprint run on this one. Well, I could clean up the body if you want. <laughs> uh, I've left three at this point. That is a good point. I probably should have left uh, <laughs> the girl that knew me. I've got six cleaners. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh... before we finish the mission, maybe I can just like oh, send the cleaners in. We're done here. <laughs> the incredible teleporting. Okay, I guess the only place I can look for the basement code now is upstairs. I guess so. I mean, you've got the code to go upstairs. Uh, uh, duty just... roster, that's not of any use to me. And so there is 
There are computers up there. Okay. You need to get to the left hand side. Yeah. Right, I get it. I'm looking at the upstairs floor map now, so when you appear, uh, I'm going to flag the security guard with the number three. Sure. Mr. Vaskov has asked me to wait for him upstairs. Another wind is brisk this time of year. The twins' bite is colder still. <laughs> so we get a big man to bite, huh? I hope his wife never finds out what really happens. At What's wrong with his face? I can't see it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, you're safe. You're completely safe. It has made okay. this section safe. So um, you said not to wander into the family rooms, but uh, I'll guess you'll warn me if I come into any of them. I guess. Yeah, you're completely safe on the side of the building. Okay. Oh. Uh, again, yeah, the direction you're heading, all of these rooms are safe in front of you. Grand. Number three is just kind of stood there, doing whatever three does. Um, I've got the camera in here, so you're all right. Oh, uh, not in Polish cuisine. Not sure I've tried Polish cuisine before. A anyone in the comments section, if uh, you've got Polish food you would recommend, I think there's some Polish markets nearby. I I would look into that. I seem to remember the Polish word for apple was quite important. I need to check my metrics after and find out if I do have any Polish beers, which would surprise me no end. But uh, obviously, you're very welcome if you are here. <laughs> and if you're not Polish, why are you not Polish? <laughs> oh, I can't jump in the bed. <laughs> oh, that's what you do as a guest. You came in to jump on the bed. That's that's why he wanted you here. What the? This is a weird bathroom. There's like a huh. toilet here, yeah. a sink here, a mirror here. They're just a huge oh. carpet <laughs> and uh, like a chandelier. That is a weird design for a bathroom, yeah. A COVID amount of toilet roll just pyramided up there. Uh, and a really natty looking radiator and two towels. Huh. Oh, fun designing this room. Maybe those little squares are like jets that come up from the floor or something. <laughs> I'm just looking at where you've where the, where I'm guessing you've got to go here. Yeah. Uh, there's another security guard that's looking straight at where you'll come through. And uh, let me guess, it was not a safe area. It's not a safe area. No. I'm, I can't see any other way through it. Um. I mean, I, I've got a gun here. Good, good. I say number one's just patrolling. The door on the left is another safe area. There's one person sure. in there. I don't know. Well, that's just a balcony. Okay. I wonder if we could push them and make it look like an accident. I'd distract all the guards so they run down to go and <laughs> help. But that next door is where you're going to go through into the non-safe place. So I've taken, right, over the, okay. taken over the camera. The security guard is coming towards you, though, on the other side. So be quick right. if you're going to go through. So... Right, this corridor in front of me is non-safe, yeah? Uh, through that door is non-safe. Okay. I'll wait for him to uh, walk past it, and then I'll cool, cool. give it a go. And then... I'm just admiring this art. Don't you mind me. It's got some ships in it. I like ships. I'll nice those ships. Through. They seem appropriate. Okay. One guard patrolling around here, one that's patrolling the northern rooms, and then that number three, who's the one you're going to have to just take out, I think. Sure. I've got the camera, I'm watching him, he's not doing anything special, just done. Now there's a locked door at the end of there, I think though this one's not a keypad, so you should be able to pick sure. this one. Anyone on the other side of the no, door? not according to mine, but I have no camera access. Okay. There's also the computer you want is in that room. Wow, this reminds me of my room when I lived with my parents. Just a lot bigger. Rubik's Cube. I, I'm, I want to investigate like the random stuff in this room no, now. No, do, because I think somewhere in here is going to be the passcode that you're looking for for the basement. You're in the, the daughter's room, I think. They've not programmed the timer in their VHS, and that like that TV down there seems like it should be uncomfortable. Like, it should be higher. 
Uh, Actually, I can watch what you're doing here because there's no cameras. <laughs> you're late, Mark. I'll be waiting in the the code of 5775. Five, five. They'll only work from the boiler room door. Dad's going to suck to try to get into storage. Okay, I did not need to deal with a lot of those people. Where are magazines? I think she has two of the same copy of Login. It's obviously a fan. Yeah. But yeah, the, all the rooms that are connected to this one as well. They're non-safe zones, but there's no one in there apparently. Sure. This is like the mother of all walk-in wardrobes. Is that what that is? Oh, and a secret cool. room? Maybe? Maybe. I can't see anything through your camera at the moment. It's pitch black. And then uh, a sec... Or into a... It looks like a bathroom, but it's not. Yeah, and the next door is, again, a non-safe room, but the security guard has been patrolling sure. into there, so I'm not I sure. probably don't need to go there if I'll stop uh, mucking about. Alright. Who will live in a house like this? I actually think there was a way to get in there without shooting that last guard, but, you know, who cares. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose if I, I took the other route, I would have been fine. Oh! Yeah, there was, uh, a, there was a door. Have a modem? Uh, okay, let's see if that actually <laughs> connects. I can already get access to that computer. Okay. So you can take the modem back. I need modem access to the one in the basement. Sure. Probably shouldn't have gone out in that balcony, that was a little bit risky. No, no, there's nothing there. You're fine. Um, I kind of wish I could move bodies. Right. Okay, the... Whoop, whoop, shit, shit, camera, camera, camera! Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I didn't realize she'd gone back in that room. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, the room that you... That door there was the, the room that you didn't go into before. Sure. Um, there's no other access into that whole area. Yeah. That you would have had to get past, like, two guards. Sneaky, sneaky style. Okay, back in the safe zone. Completely in safe yeah. zone right now. And don't you worry, I stayed out of the family rooms. Tee hee! Scouts on her. <laughs> okay, basement time. We've got sub objective two. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Hmm? Yep, yep. Boiler room. Oh, oh got, camera, camera! I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, actually, don't worry. <laughs> um, yep, that's the right door for using the code. I've got an ammo drop or a med kit drop if you need it in the next room, but I don't think you do. Anyone in another fight? Nope, just flagging the two guards that are patrolling, uh, but they're in sure. the next room. So if you see Oh, no. What? What, what, what? I just heard a security guard say, are you all right? I think someone found, uh... Nope. There's, nope, your bodies have not been discovered on this Whoa. floor, at least. That, that is trippy. Look what, at that. What is... I can't Looks see. Looks like just a, a, a normal... Oh, Are you okay? The camera's on the other side. It's yeah. not seen you. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a normal walker, right? Right. Ah, nice. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? The preachers. This must be their base of operations. Who are they? Have you been living under a rock? They're infamous black hats. Why would that call for a hacker group? That seems a little out of character. I don't know. Plug me in and let's see if we can find out. That's the one you want, right in front of you. Thank you very much. I am in. Hacking now. Ah, that was not my remote modem. The, it was the root kit that that dude gave me. Nice. Okay, so I'm in. Yeska, Batcop's daughter. Sounds like she's the leader of the preachers. I guess we should turn her in. They've been stealing a lot of people's money, but she's only 17 years old. These guys are just kids. We could simply upload these files to the Polish police. Or I could upload it to Wintermute, the old group I used to run with in SF. She's clearly a bright girl, but I mean, her dad is a drug lord. Maybe she just needs better role models. I'll leave it up to you, Martin. You understand the situation better than I do. Okay. I have the option to upload the preacher's data to third party now. Oh, I kind of got a wee game of Quake going on here. <laughs> right, let's see what these emails are all about. I know sure. I shouldn't discuss this over mail, but I can't wait for the next meeting. Our last take was great, and we're all really happy about that. 
All I can think about is how much more money we could have had right now if your father didn't take such a huge cut. Obviously, I'm trusting you not to tell him, but I don't want... Uh, I don't think his help is worth a fifth of what we pay him. Maybe we needed him in the beginning with the accounts and all, but he could take it from here. I know it's your dad, he scares the shit out of me, but if you say we need things the way they are, I'll accept that. Uh, the police got really close this time, they got four proxies in. The kid, the Sid was on Log's duty, can you talk to him, blah 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 blah. Uh, oh my god, Drags, did you see the article Epoch did on Cybercrime with Famous? Okay, really rubbish emails actually, that, that, made, that was rubbish. Yeah. I'll check the other one though, because this is the objective yeah. machine. There's a Wii laptop over here. Do you need a modem on it? No, I think I've got it. Sure. Here we go. I've got Dad's account information. Here we go. Nice. I found the info for one of Vatkoff's main accounts. I think I have an idea for how we can use this against Baxter. I'm getting the code for the two other doors as well, just in case you need access. Sure. Uh... I'll investigate the next room in the basement. Am I safe to do so? Uh, you've got. I've tagged the two guys that are patrolling in there, so just be. Nope, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just be really careful. The code. Is there for... anything I need in those other rooms? Uh, there's a computer I've already been into, so no. Ah, let's let's beat it. I don't think so. What's this one? I've got another thing. All right, so I'm gonna upload that data. Uh, right, who do we want to send the data to, do you think? Do we send it to the police or the hacking group? Um, I, I assume uh, Martin's talking about white hat hackers. I think so. It sounded like it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. White hats. Okay, the winter mute. There we go. Winter, winter mutes. Alright, uh, can you take the camera on my way out? Uh, done. Run. Data has been uploaded. Jumping back to main network. Okay, that was pretty pretty smooth. Oh no. Oh no. Are you stuck? I'm stuck. Oh no, okay, crouching fixed it. Oh! No, the host means you've disconnected. Connection to server lost. You have the host. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> And thus, Patty was never heard from ever, ever again. Oh, I'm stuck in the step again. Ah, there we go. That's... Yay! Okay, we're back on the podcast. Okay, now. apologies for technical difficulties there. Um, the game crashed. But we are but, uh, still oh, professionals. Uh, yep. <laughs> That, that for once it wasn't our goof. <laughs> okay, you're on the safe area, so everything is completely yeah. safe here. So I have to find Christopher in the Winter Garden. Uh, he's that's the room in the, that's inside. All right. I know it sounds oh, right, weird. Right, right, right. He's yeah. in the what I would describe as the northeast room. Like a sort of conservatory kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. I'm just looking at it from a map point of view. It's to your right. I do kind of like the uh, tip tool. T oh wait. I tapped the run button and I actually got to run there. I was tapping it just because I enjoyed seeing the you can't sprint and high heels thing. And you got a little bit of a jog. Yeah. There he is. Hey, dude. Glad to see I was right about you. I held up my end of the deal. My associate is already working on Vatkoff's files. And Baxter? He agreed to meet you upstairs in the guest suite. I'll let him know if it's time. And he let the guards know. All right, done. So now we've got to interrogate Richard Baxter. I have to say, I'm so glad I killed that uh, woman. Oh yeah, so you'd have to worry about her. Yeah. Patrolling. And the meeting point for Richard Baxter is a safe spot. So. I would hope so. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That We're gonna get through here. Yep, I've got the camera. So even though it's safe, I'm gonna monitor everything through the camera. That was fair. This, uh, yeah. Pick two. I don't know what foolhardy errand Christopher made you run, what he promised you in return, but I think you've been had, my girl. I just wanted some alone time with you, and you delivered. Yes, and I'm sure you've had great luck bedazzling many men before me. Uh, put simply, I'm bad for another team. I think we're not on the same page, Mr. Baxter. You see, 
seem to have misunderstood the situation. You've been funneling drug money from Vatkov and several other men at this party through investment accounts in Catalyst, then through an array of shell corporations. What I want to know is where the money trail ends. Who sent you? Worry less about that and more about what I will do to make you talk. There are armed guards right outside this door. Don't do anything stupid. Those guards are going to be a bigger problem for you than for me once Bethany Vatkov finds that 20 million zloty have been transferred from his bank account to yours. What? Impossible. Condor, please print Mr. Baxter's bank statement. See, I saw all of that this time. You didn't disappear in the middle of it. Cool. So going into the computer... If if really, if they're trying something very clever with the code here, given uh, I like you know, it, you have yeah. to do something during a cutscene, but which is awful. I really think it's going to sound odd in the edit that I put up on YouTube, but uh, to explain, we've had some technical difficulties with this cutscene. Oh. There you go. Who the hell Thank you. you. I told you not to worry about that. Who or what is Adrastea? I'm just the middleman. I provide a service. Somehow I doubt that. Look, it's all in this notebook. I've recorded all transfers and account numbers relating to Vatkov's investments. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Thank you. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> okay. Now what? Um. Now mine's crashed completely. No, wait. We're, okay. I think we're in. Oh. Oh, God. <sighs> Did you knock him out? Uh, yeah, I had the option to knock him out or kill him. I chose to knock him out, and she has one hell of a right hook. Wow. To say that completely froze for me, the next time it comes back around, he's lying on the floor, twitching. Yeah. Oh, he's really like, um... Is he twitching? <laughs> uh, no, but he is in quite the uncomfortable pose. <laughs> he's, he's, one of his legs is just dangling backwards and forwards <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> uh, clean up crew, could you do your thing, please? Right, so... Clean up everybody who's unconscious. Uh, or dead. Got you. Working on it. Uh, so we've got two guards on this floor. Uh, going to the ground floor, we have the woman in the bathroom. And on the basement, we've got the two guards. Oh, cool. I got an achievement called the Garbage Collector for that. Um, <laughs> do we have any more that you remember? Oh, there's ones in the basement, there's oh, a lady in the bathroom in the first floor, and there's a uh, his Hearts in the top floor there. Yep, yep, got them all. You are Grand. Clean. Good to go. It's like, run, run! Oh, I've got high heels on. <laughs> Switching to camera. Oh, and she looks so dainty in that dress. She was kind of half expecting achievement unlocked within Nikita. Nice. That is something I could put for. Oops, sorry. <laughs> that was a film I maybe like to watch sometime. <laughs> nice. Hey, we did pretty good there. We did yeah. pretty good, despite the random glitches in the middle. Uh, like, uh, we've not gone for any of the uh, pro-tier ghost walkthroughs or anything, but... Uh, but, to be honest, that wasn't too bad a footprint. Yeah. Two bits of forensic and one bit of property damage. That would be bullet cave things, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. Really you think good. she could pick up the bullet cave things, right? <laughs> you think so. Playstyle achieved anonymous. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's let's see uh, what they have to. Fit. They're gonna train me out for creating a bloodbath again, aren't they? That's all right. We didn't. No one discovered Welcome anything. Welcome back, and congratulations on your third successful operation. Congrats on surviving so far. You mean? How the hell did you not manage to ID Xenia, the sister of a member of a defunct Russian extremist group, now working as a call girl? We should have caught it, and I'm sorry we didn't. But you must admit, this was a particularly tricky one. We don't know that she would have blown your cover if she'd spotted you. We she do. would have, trust me, because you killed her brother. What? Yes, because of that. 
You'll have to tell that story at some point. Baxter's black book should keep the analysts occupied for a few weeks. Scotland Yard was quite surprised when we delivered Baxter to them. They should have no trouble getting a conviction with the evidence you got in London. Killing Baxter wouldn't have stopped the leaks. We need his boss. You're right. And that's why I'm very happy with how little evidence you left behind in Warsaw. We don't want our target to know we're coming. There's no substitute for the element of surprise. Will that be all, sir? While the analysis department chews through Baxter's book, we should all prepare for the next operation. As always, don't hesitate to see me if you have any concerns about the mission or our operations. Wow. That was almost positive. Indeed. Clean up crew for the win. <laughs> 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 they never saw anything. And they were uh, apparently happy with each of murdering the uh, woman. Yeah, they'd had no problems. How are you holding? Oh. <laughs> uh. It's good to be back in the field. You enjoy the danger? I enjoy the challenge. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be careful what sort of satisfaction you look for in this line of work. It can be a slippery slope. How's the mission going? It's going well. Thanks to you and Samborski. The analysis department is working on Baxter's book, and I expect we'll have our next confirmed lead within a few weeks. All right, uh, I'll, I'll do my uh, usual rounds. Yeah, it's all on you. I get to stand in my office and make. I'll, I'll go. Yourself. I'll go visit my wee best buddy then. What if I can cause weird glitches in the cutscene again by standing in the I... spot? I can sprint again! This is amazing! <laughs> Get used to it. The next mission you're going to be wearing flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely surprised at no point during that mission uh, there was an excuse for it to take off the high heels and right. gain access to the sprint. I have to say though, I enjoyed that mission a lot. I think that was one of the best ones yet, despite yeah. the. Uh, Despite the difficulties with it. But yeah, the aesthetic of that one was fun. It's like from the hacking point of view, I didn't have to worry about the administrator. Hey, good you're yep. here. What's up? I've found something interesting in the preacher's files. It looks like they've hacked Baxter. I dug out some Adrasteia chatter about a group or project within the CIA's Special Activities Division, codenamed Tantalus. The data is kind of vague, unfortunately. It sounds like Adrasteia's operatives weren't entirely clear themselves on the nature of Tantalus. Sarah did a little bit of asking around, but we came up empty-handed. It must be some black ops thing, and it all seems a little sinister. What makes you say that? Well, in Adrasteia's communications, they refer to Tantalus as a threat to their continued operations, but also as a possible opportunity. It's kind of freaky that Adrasteia might have a reason to see an opportunity for themselves in an SAD black ops project. Don't you think? Doesn't sound like something we can do anything about. For now, we can't be sure it's relevant to our mission. We should keep an eye out for further data related to Tantalus. If nothing else, just to rule it out. What do you think Wintermute will do with the Preacher's data? I've asked them to contact Batcock's daughter and scare her a little. Then if she gets the message, they can help her find a more constructive use for her skills. There's plenty of ways to make money off that sort of thing that don't involve theft. Why isn't he such a nice guy? Yeah. There's so many completed Rubik's Cubes owned by hackers in this game, I'm discovering. That's that's how you learn to hack. You, you hack the Rubik's Cube. And who are you playing chess with? And why are there four pencils next to it? I, I'm playing chess with a uh, stationary supplier. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Why have she got black up stuff outside her uh, office now? Doesn't on my screen. Yeah, looks like she's got a big curtain up over oh, her. Yeah. Yeah. Big blackout curtain, curtain thingy. That's interesting. Still got the same two bottles of vodka. Is that new? I think that's new. Yeah, I don't remember the curtain being there. We'll have to yeah. check back on previous videos. It's maybe meant to be her growing more paranoid about the people she's working with. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't want Martin spying on her when she's in her office. He probably just sits there with his face pressed up against the glass, breathing heavily. <laughs> Like, what are you doing, you weird person? I'm waiting for the next mission. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm now wondering what Katya's doing that she feels the need for privacy. <laughs> or maybe because you've got him next door. Back to red? Yeah. Such a serious color. 
This isn't your natural hair, though, is it? This is nobody's natural hair color. <laughs> but it suits me better than yours. <laughs> nice. What's that woman in Warsaw? She killed her brother. What's the story behind that? I'd rather not talk about it. Why not? I don't want it to change the way you look at me. Look, I know a lot of the people here are uncomfortable with the idea of working with killers. But I'm like you. I know field work is a whole world away from working in an office. Oh. <laughs> Mikhail Rushkov was the ringleader of the violent core of Black Sickle. I fell in love with him and got pulled into that group too. But in the end, I betrayed them and helped the FSB bring them down. After the raid, Mikhail got out on bail. I guess his family pulled some strings. Then he came to my home to kill the snitch. Shit. He brought a gun and shot me. Then I stabbed him with a kitchen knife. That sounds pretty badass. I assure you, it was not. It was frantic and terrifying. And it was over in a minute. Right. I'm sorry that happened to you. I lived. <laughs> he died. Definitely my worst breakup so far. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is such a sleaze. He really is. Oh hey, you're badass! Oh oh no, that must have been terrible. I'm oh sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say, uh, uh, how horrible for you. Are you okay? Can I see your scar? No, wait, that's inappropriate. Uh, I mean, he's queerly the traitor. Yes, but uh, we, we called that one the first time we met him, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, we've got to find Sarah. I mean, it's going to be such a twist when he turns out to be completely innocent. Oh, we're the traitors. Ooh, I like that. Plot twist. <laughs> Bring surge media, mobile phones, or recording devices to work as a breach of OPSEC. Failure to comply with calls for dismissal. All unknown devices will be reported to security. Nice. I do apologize for missing Senior Roshkova. I don't want you to think I'm dodging responsibility. Whatever. Everything worked out. I just want you to know... Madam, I'm sorry to interrupt, but something is wrong. What is it, Vladimir? The database server is down. The file server, too. I think they all are. Crash! No power. There must be an electrical fault in the server room. Yes. I can't believe it. It will take at least a day to get an electrician out here and through the security process. I'll check it out. Oh, no, we really can't ask that of you. I mean, she's You're both. Yeah, she is an electrician. Not an electrician. We know this. Somebody probably just forgot to connect the backup generators. It'll be a quick fix. Faster than waiting for an electrician. We can't waste any time finding Grishin. Oh, thank you. I know you've more pressing matters to attend to. The server rooms are in the old munitions bay. One level down from the depot. Pass the key oh, the depot. oh uh, yes. Hold on. Mr. Sabulka, could you get Miss Kozlova the code for the lower facilities, please? Yelena, запишите код от подсекции на бумажке и прикрепите у двери. That's safe. Operational security. The code is next door. All right, I'll get the servers up and running again. Have I ever complimented you? That is a very secure way to pass the code on to someone. Don't seem like a very realistic one. <laughs> yeah, so like, I can't bother giving it to you. She'll forget it anyway. I mean. On one hand, probably transmitting it to someone in another room when you don't know who's present is probably bad news, but... It could be that we'd say, we'll come and talk to you, or we'll get it to yeah. you in person. Oh, I better go talk to the awkward flirty guy. Awkward flirty? Guy at the, uh... Do you have any raisin? God damn it! No? Then how about a date? <laughs> Stop! Stop. Or a smile. <laughs> oh, I like him. Yeah, like, uh, the, the first few ones were just kind of awkward and cringy, but uh, at this point it kind of has to be God loves a trier kind of thing. Right. I'm just following you around, so if there's any random dialogue, yeah. I'll hear it. <laughs> Maybe he'll ask you out in a date. Yeah, I'm disappointed he doesn't. Maybe we should have gone after that. Richard Baxter. <laughs> Printed out like a hey, want to go on a date message from the printer straight after all the bank records. <laughs> Going back for my kid's birthday next Thursday. Gray signed off on it? Yeah. 
kids been going on about this Quake game for months. Did you get it? I got in the game and a new computer to run it. Dad of the year. Gotta love that deployment bonus. <laughs> Everyone's just playing Quake at the moment. It's a hot new thing. I mean, I think it's slightly less good than Doom, but I mean, it's pretty good. I bet, I bet it doesn't come on like two floppy disks. <laughs> I think I remember Doom came in like five. I remember Doom two. I remember I had. I think it was just. I just had it on two disks. Oh, oh! We, in my house, we had a dual CD-ROM drive, so we got the CD <laughs> version no of way. Doom two. <laughs> I had a four-speed CD drive at one point. Oh, should probably talk to Radko. So it'll be non lethal. Oh, wait, shit. <laughs> oh man, that, that reference was not aged well. Подключены Кошмарный способ лишать людей жизни. Так что пусть лучше они хранятся тут, чем у моего приятеля. Я рад, что они не попадут в руки каких-нибудь отморозков. All right, for fire range. Oh, cool. Can I buy guns? No, you can do nothing. Oh, but I can't. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw a hammer at stuff, maybe. Can I fire the guns? There's no guns in here. <laughs> it's a rubbish firing range. I suppose you need to check out the guns first. Okay. Oh, is this uh, where I've got to go? No, it's not. Where's the sun? Is it the one? Is it here? Does it have a glowing note next to the door? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 644428. 644428. 644428. Three fours? Yeah, it's 644428. That. This is cool, because I wasn't given access to this room. <laughs> I like how. Oh. No. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this might turn into two videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And more importantly, why did none of the lights go off when it did? Right. Hey, I met her! I think. No, no, it's the door. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Lots me brain good. good. We only brain when we're on mission. It's fine. Ooh. Oh, I found stuff that's not made out of wood. <laughs> oh, oh. Look, non-wooden boxes. Ooh. They all sound like they're working. So, uh, I'm gonna guess Daniel's gonna club me over the back of the head when I'm fixing something, and then you'll heroically come in to... I don't know. Yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> Whiffle your hands at him? What's around here? Anything? Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Damn Locate it. a wrench. I know where hammer is. 
it's not one here, there's a crowbar. I mean, there's a toolbox here, you'd think that would contain one. Oh, I wonder if I can fix it. There's a screwdriver. Perk. There's a little flag point me this way, but I can't get through that door. I ain't got no flags. Which door are you trying to get through? Uh. They're, they're, I've run past there now and try to go around it. Sure. Uh, uh, it's totally safe from walking into closed boxes. So you had a toolbox with no wrench in it. Uh, oh, I found a wrench. I found it. I can't pick it up, but I found it. Rear wrench. Wrench in. Uh, when it came out of the server room, it turned left. Turn left. Okay. Uh, alright, right, okay. The corridor. Oh, there's a, there's a locked door here. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if that was the one you talked about. But in the end, I found a wrench. See, I'm like a ghost. You're going to turn out Daniel's not actually real. It's all inside her head. <laughs> I'm actually a partner that died on your last, like, on your first mission. Look, wrench. Awesome. Glowy, like, why can't I pick up the glowy wrench? Because <laughs> you've not... You're not qualified. My, yeah, I don't have a license for carrying a wrench. Oh, my nerd strength isn't quite high enough, it's too heavy. <laughs> There's some minus four strength going around here, but it's not who you'd think. Can I fix it? Will it let me? <laughs> what a weird side thing. Is this just to establish that we can go down here later? I wonder what this code is. Gave us an excuse for opening it up. You're gonna try the 644428, didn't you? Nah, uh, it's a shorter code. Ah, uh, oh, oh dear. Why, where'd you go this time? Are we leaving? Uh, yeah, we probably should. Okay. I was just uh, taking a wee explore. Just need to try and remember where the way out is now. Uh, right this way, I think. I like how the game bothered to load you into this area, just, you know, so I could run because. Yeah. Uh, right. Daniel has unlocked the ability to climb. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's going to kick me out, isn't it? It is. I can't be in the basement unless I'm supervised by Katya. <laughs> so I think I will do the follow up with Sarah and then I will leave the briefing for the next mission until next time because I will definitely go over it again. That sounds sensible. I will wait for you outside Sarah's office. Groofy. Huh. Her cover name is the same as one of the uh, people that works in the random office there. Yulia. Maybe we just stole it. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it's a sly dig from Katja implying that she works in uh, other trade. There oh, was a short circuit and the UBS couldn't handle the load. I don't know how long it's been running on the backup. Thank you. Everything seems to be working again. Will this last? It will last until tomorrow, but get a proper electrician out here. Somebody who has spare parts. I will. Again, thank you so much for the help, Katya. I'm glad to see the field work hasn't gone to your head. Of course. I'll let you get back to work. That was really, really worth it. I suppose it's maybe... It's a setup for getting the electrician into the building. I think. You possibly also a setup for Sarah sort of ha having better thoughts about Katya further down the line. Yeah, it's like, actually, I'm realising you're very helpful. Yeah. But uh, at that point, though, I think that's uh, us for uh, this video. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, don't know how long this is going to finally sort of work out to be, because <laughs> there's, there's going to be some awkward cuts involved here, but, but we'll see how things go. But uh, thank you for joining us and uh, catch you next time.
Yeah, if you've enjoyed this, remember to check out some of the other playlists, probably linked at the end of this video. And see you next time. Thank you.